Hello friends, this video on metals and non-metals part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. Let us quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number one. Which of the following can be beaten into thin sheets? Now what is that property which says that an object can be beaten into thin sheets? That property is called malleability and metals are malleable. So let us see the options. Now in this option zinc is a metal so metal is malleable. Phosphorus non-metal not malleable. Sulfur non-malleable. Oxygen non-malleable. So the correct option is zinc. So let's look at question number two. Which of the following statements is correct? All metals are ductile. All non-metals are ductile. Generally metals are ductile. Some non-metals are ductile. So ductility is the property by which objects can be drawn into thin wires. Now non-metals can never be ductile. So option B and D are absolutely incorrect. Now we cannot say that all metals are ductile because there are exceptions to everything. So therefore the right option would be generally metals are ductile. Question number three. Fill in the blanks. Phosphorus is a very dash non-metal. So phosphorus is extremely reactive. So it reacts very fast with oxygen and that is why it is stored inside water because it doesn't react with water. Metals are dash conductors of heat and dash. Metals are of course good conductors. That is why utensils are made up of metals. They are also good conductors of electricity. Iron is dash reactive than copper. So iron is more reactive than copper. That is why iron is able to replace copper from copper sulfate solution and form iron sulfate. Metals react with acids to produce dash gas. Which gas? It produces hydrogen gas. Question number four. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. Generally, non-metals react with acids. Now, non-metals do not react with acids. Sodium is a very reactive metal. Yes, it is. Because you saw that sodium is so reactive to oxygen as well as water that it can catch fire very easily. That is why it is stored inside kerosene oil. Copper displaces zinc from zinc sulfate solution. This is false because zinc is more reactive than copper. Therefore, zinc can replace copper, but copper cannot replace zinc. Coal can be drawn into wires. Absolutely incorrect because coal is a non-metal and if you start beating coal, it will break into pieces, but it will never be drawn into wires. So this is false. Question number five. Some properties are listed in the following table. Distinguish between metals and non-metals on the basis of these properties. So the first property is appearance. So let us say this side we will write metals and this side we will write non-metals and we will say for each of these properties how do they differ. So appearance wise metals have, have luster so they have shiny surface non-metals do not have luster so they do not have any luster. Next property is hardness. Mostly metals are hard whereas non-metals are soft. However there are exception to both of these like in metals also we have soft metals like sodium. Malleability. Metals are malleable, that is they can be beaten into thin sheets like aluminium, silver, gold, etc. Non-metals are non-malleable, they just break off, they are brittle, they can be broken down easily. Ductility again, metals are ductile but non-metals are non-ductile, they cannot be drawn into thin wires. Heat conduction, metals are good conductors of heat but non-metals are poor conductors of heat. Conduction of electricity, again metals are good conductors of electricity, but non-metals are poor conductors of electricity. Question number six. Give reasons for the following. Aluminium foils are used to wrap food items. 
Now there are two reasons. One is because aluminium do not react with food. Aluminium doesn't react with food because if aluminium starts reacting with food, maybe it will turn the food into something else. It might turn it into poison. So aluminium doesn't react. So it is safe to keep food wrapped in aluminium foils. Secondly, why do we have aluminium foil? Because aluminium is malleable. That is, it can be beaten into thin sheets and that is why we are able to make aluminium foils out of it. Immersion rods for heating liquids are made up of metallic substance because what do immersion rods do? They are used for heating water primarily. So it will be able to heat water only when it is able to conduct the heat, right? Because these metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. So that is why they are used in immersion rods. Copper cannot displace zinc from its salt solution. So if you put copper in zinc sulfate solution, copper cannot replace. So you, if you mix copper with zinc sulfate, what happens? There is no reaction because copper is less reactive than zinc. So copper is less reactive than zinc. And we know that only a more reactive metal can displace a less reactive metal. Sodium and potassium are stored in kerosene because sodium and potassium both of them are extremely reactive in presence of oxygen and water. So therefore if you keep them exposed to oxygen or water they will immediately catch fire. So that is why to prevent fire they are stored in kerosene because sodium and potassium are highly reactive to oxygen and water. So we try to keep it away from air and water. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.